Good morning, good afternoon, whenever you're watching this video. Let's go ahead and get started. So what we're doing with this video today is adjectives. And we've touched on this briefly in the past, but it's new. So I wanna make sure that everybody is on the right page and can follow along with me. So go ahead and turn to page 83 in your journeys workbook. And I apologize for the barking. My dog is not happy about something going on outside. <laughs> okay, so an adjective is a word that tells how something looks. Adjectives can tell size, they can tell color, they can tell shape, or they can tell how many. Okay, so for example, penguins look short. Okay, so how do the penguins look? Short. Short describes the penguins, okay? So penguins can tell, again, or sorry, not penguins, adjectives can tell size, color, shape, or how many, okay? So for right now, you have a word bank with four words. You're going to read the sentence, and then you're going to write the word that matches. So for example, it tells you what kind of adjective it's looking for right here. So it says, I see blank penguins on the ice. We're looking for an adjective that tells how many. So our adjective that tells how many out of these four words would be four. So go ahead and write four on the line. I see four penguins on the ice. How many penguins do we see? Four. Okay. If I'm going too fast, you can feel free to pause it and then start back up again whenever you're ready. Number two, the penguins stand in a blank circle. We're looking for an adjective that tells the shape. So we have round, small, and black. So the penguins stand in a round circle, okay? Number three, they are blank and white. We're looking for an adjective that tells color. So we have round, small, four, and black. Here we're looking for black. So write black on the line. Number three is black. Okay. And then number four, the baby penguin is blank. We're looking for an adjective that tells size an adjective that tells size. So that would be small. Good, small. Okay. All right, simple enough. So let's go ahead. We're going to move forward here. Turn to page. Uh oh, my internet just froze. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to look at page 86. Okay. So adjectives, the last time we said that they could tell color, size, and shape. Now we're gonna learn about how adjectives can tell taste and smell also, okay? So it says, find the adjective in each sentence. The adjective tells more about the underlying word. Write the adjective. So you're gonna write the adjective on the line. So it tells you what word you're looking for the adjective from. So for example, number one, the penguins eat the tasty fish. So the underlying word is fish. What word describes the fish? Tasty. Tasty describes the fish. So you're gonna write tasty on the line. Tasty, okay. All right, number two, they drink salty water. Water is underlined and you wanna, what word describes water? Salty. So the adjective for number two is salty. So go ahead and write that on the line. Okay. Number three, the penguins like smelly seafood. Seafood is underlined. So what word goes with seafood? What word describes seafood by how something tastes or smells? Smelly. So write smelly on the line for number three. Number four, they smell the fresh air. 
So air is the word that's underlined. And what word describes air? Fresh. So go ahead and write fresh on the line for number four. And number five, they love the taste of sweet squid. So squid is the word that is underlined. What word describes squid? Sweet. So go ahead and write sweet on the line. Okay, so now we've talked about adjectives. They describe something, okay? So they're gonna describe how something tastes, how something smells, how so the color, the shape, or how many, okay? All right, so there is one more page of adjectives and it's not on your assignment sheet, but I would like for you to try 92 on your own and then when you come back to school tomorrow, or on Tuesday if you decided to watch this video early, we can go over it together, okay? So one through four is the exact same thing we did on the first adjective page. It tells you what kind of adjective it's looking for. So these first two adjectives are looking for a sound, how something sounds, and these last two adjectives are looking for how it feels, okay? And you have a word bank. And then five, six, seven, and eight are how, are what we did the last, on just the last page. It has an underlined wor word, and I want you to tell the adjective that describes that word that's underlined, okay? Again, this is page 92. It is not on your assignment sheet, but I would like for you to try it on your own so that we can go over it when you come back to school on Tuesday, okay? If you have any questions, please let me know. And otherwise, I will see you on Tuesday, all right? Have a good rest of your day.